Hello everybody, this is TJR. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. A year ago this month, I posted a video on this channel where I gave my thoughts and my predictions of what I thought would happen with AI in regards to not only music, but the arts in general. In that video, I said that in time, there would be numerous online platforms available for the general public to use that would allow anyone the ability to have music created with just text prompts. I can picture a music audio generator and feeding in a prompt like this. Compose a song that is two minutes and 56 seconds long in the vein of the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour psychedelic period, sung by John Lennon with George Harrison and Paul McCartney singing backup vocals. The instrumentation will be John on guitar, Paul on bass and lead guitar, Ringo on drums, and George Harrison on tambora with acoustic guitar. There will also be some incidental strings arranged by George Martin. The song will be entitled... And while I knew this would happen, I honestly have to say that I didn't think it would happen as fast as it has. Suno launched in December 2023 and has been very high profile. Udio just launched this last April, and the general consensus is, is that it's better than Suno. There are, of course, many other music AI generation platforms out there available for use, but these two are the most well-known, the most high profile, and the ones that everybody seems to be talking about. So I decided to try Udio, and I'll discuss my experience in just a moment. Now, since posting my video a year ago, I have been keeping track of this topic. I have been reading all the latest articles. I have listened to what other YouTube commentators have to say on the matter. Some of them are hopeful about what this will mean for music and for musicians, while others are expressing outrage and condemnation. As for me, I have seen this movie play enough times now that I know that once you let the technological genie out of the bottle, there's no putting it back in. Online, I have engaged in discussions with individuals who have argued with me that AI art is not art, to which I will always respond, well, if it elicits a response, then it is art. Art is always subjective to the person who responds to it. So I went to Udio and I created an account and I asked it to create a short jingle promoting why everyone should subscribe to my channel. It very quickly uh, produced a few versions of a jingle here and I'll play a little bit here. Honestly, I think it gets a little catchier each time I listen to it. I have to admit, there was an adrenal rush to doing this, just like there is when you generate AI art. There is a bit of a dopamine high, uh, similar to what you experience when you scroll on Facebook or scroll on TikTok. You type in a little bit of text, and in seconds, you get something finished. And all I can say is that there's going to be so much good and bad as a result of all this. Right now, anyone can ask AI to write a song about how much they're in love with their spouse or their partner, and the AI will more than likely generate a song for you that sounds pretty darn good. I also see a lot of videos, AI-generated videos out there on YouTube, and there's no doubt that soon anyone will be able to create their own little cinematic masterpiece. But I can also see this replacing people very quickly as well. After all, why hire a composer to score a film that you're working on when you can get AI to do it a lot cheaper. This will be a boon for a young indie filmmaker who is uh, 
strapped for cash and working on a tight budget. And as I say all this, I am sure that there are a lot of people who think that using AI platforms to generate art and music must in some way make them now an artist and a composer. Now, recently, I have started using an AI art platform to generate illustrations for my videos. But I never let myself think that using this AI platform makes me an artist. It's the AI that has generated the art off of the prompts that I have supplied it. It's the AI that created that jingle for my channel, not me. It's the same as if I went to an actual composer and said to them, I want you to write a song for me about how bad things are getting right now in the world. And based on how detailed or not detailed my instructions to that composer are, that composer is going to compose a song based on how they interpret my instructions. But it is the composer who wrote the song. I just told them what I wanted the song to be about. The text prompts are the same thing. They are the instructions I give the AI, and it's going to generate a song based on how it interprets my prompts. But that doesn't make me the composer. If anything, the AI is the composer. Of course, right now I'm discussing um, music generation in very simplistic terms. This doesn't mean that a person can't have a very clever idea and ask the AI to interpret it as either a, an image or as video or as music. That same person might also write some lyrics and ask the AI to create that music uh, that would accompany it, in which case they are still the lyricist. I could also take a piece of music uh, that I've generated with text prompts as a starting point for something that I have then created additional music and done in the old-fashioned way, old-school way, uh, done it manually. In fact, that last example isn't that far away from some of the experiments I tried many years ago where loops, uh, publicly available commercial music loops became you know, available publicly. And I took some loops and began to create music uh, as, uh, that, was, that used the loop as the starting point for my song. In fact, long before I could play a musical instrument, I would hear music in my head. I would hear melodies in my head, but I had no way to get that music in my head into a form that other people could hear and experience. Someone like that now could get AI to put that music together for them. Now, right now, it might take a certain amount of trial and error with the prompts, getting it to work with the music and getting it to work right. But in time, I'm sure it would get easier. In fact, I'm sure it won't be long before we also have voice prompts for AI music generation, where you can hum the notes you want to hear. And then, of course, it will put those notes together into a fixed form of music in whatever genre you're talking about. And with all of these examples, the line becomes more and more gray as to what is human created and what is AI generated. You know, the other day I was watching Rick Beato being interviewed on another YouTube channel, separate from his own, and he was being asked if AI, or if I, I should say, if an AI generated music artist would chart or could chart on streaming services like Spotify and radio, and if the public would accept it? His answer was yes, absolutely, and the public would have no problem with it. And he said we'd probably see it uh, like within the next two years. I don't disagree with this. In fact, it may even happen sooner than two years. Overall, all of this is gonna create a democratization of music creation. But with that, it will also mean that there will be just an overpowering tsunami wave of these creations. This will make it much harder for any single individual creation to stand out and be heard above all the noise that will be created. And as a result, 
all of these things will become less special and less important in our culture. So what does this mean for our culture? It's anybody's guess. Nobody really knows. But I do feel that it's safe to say that the world is going to change in ways that we can't even possibly begin to imagine. It is exciting and it is scary, but this has always been the case. My only hope is that in the future, we as a society will be able to cultivate an appreciation for things like art and music that is created by human beings and that we will view it as somehow special and above that tsunami wave of AI-generated content. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and let's have a conversation about this. You know, as I wrote my script for this video, there were so many thoughts and observations that I wanted to include in this video, but in the end, I had to cut a lot of it out because if I hadn't, this video would just be branching off into so many directions. But hopefully, I will get the opportunity to bring up some of those points in the comments section here. By the way, at the time that I'm making this video, I am 62 years old, and I am considered part of the boomer generation. And I just want to say that all of us who are part of that generation, we were all lucky enough to take part in what can be best described as a very rich and very wonderful explosion of music that began in the 1950s. So no matter what happens, let's just celebrate that we were there to experience it. After all, it won't be too long before the AI overlords take over the entire planet and enslave us all. In which case, everything I've just talked about is going to be pretty much irrelevant. I always wanna leave these videos on a happy note. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like these videos, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. A big shout out and thank you to my patron supporters. Patron supporters do receive exclusive weekly videos not available on this channel. If you'd like to be a patron supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash TJR the original. If you can't, I understand. You can also show your support by just giving a one-time super thanks to any video that I post here. And if you can't do that, you can just show your support by clicking like, and that will help a great deal. Clicking like is free. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.